Hello friends, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu, and welcome back to Let's Play Plock. So, um, yeah, I, I kind of briefly touched on it, but if it wasn't clear, the previous level is kind of the last big surge in difficulty before the last area, so... Ooh, yeah, Creepy Crag here, this is one of my favorite tracks in the game. But, uh, yeah, this, this yeah, l the previous level was basically the point where the levels start to get uh, really just kind of ridiculous almost in their challenge. Uh, this is actually kind of one of the easier levels in the last set, but uh, that's really only after you've kind of learned all the uh, learned all the tricks and uh, kind of all the... If Once you know what's in store for you, you can kind of prepare beforehand and know what's coming. Those logs are just for show as far as I can, can tell. It's not even possible to get hit by them. And again, we got the shenanigans where it's stealing limbs from us as we go through the level and hit these switches. Oh, I, I keep forgetting. Is it left or right? From there you alternate, but it, it, it is actually kind of an... It's not a terrible level. There's actually not a... There's not a lot of bullshit in this level, which makes it a pretty decent one. But it's just kind of annoying in that there's a, a lot of backtracking that's not super tedious, but just kind of... I don't know, just kind of frustrating and unnecessary, especially if it ends up taking you multiple times to get through. Although you, you can get around the backtracking and not have to do it if you uh, guess right each time. But basically, you've got these little forks. You like take the rocket guy up, and then you go left or right, and uh, you've got to do both paths. But uh, only one of them it actually has the way forward, so I needed to go left there in order to kill those fleas. But I also need to go right here to finish off the rest of the level. So if I had gone right first, um, I'd have had to go back down, then go left, then come back right again. So I've got to I've got to keep track of what directions I'm actually going on each of these because yeah, this is another thing where it's just going to keep on doing this throughout the level in kind of uh, different configurations, and it basically alternates back and forth which one you need to do first. So I want to go right on the next one. Those logs actually are bastards. They can get you if you're not careful. Ooh. Actually, uh, yeah, actually, I think this is a new type of uh, target here, now that I think of it. Uh, whoops, that was a mistake. Oh, well, I think we can just skip by them without too much trouble, though. Anyways, oh, yeah, we went left first last time, so we want to go right this time. Oh, I, I completely forgot, actually, now that I think of it. Uh, the, yeah, the, the amulet that I collect, that I got off Legacy Island, like, many, many episodes ago. Or, I guess, many, many levels ago. Probably only, like, what, two or three videos or something? But, uh, yeah, I actually don't think I can do it. Oh, I can. Uh, there's not much point right now, but actually, the shells don't even matter. Oh, and, and again, we can get our arms back by getting that present. But yeah, basically we've got a new special move. Once you clear Legacy Island and get the power amulet, uh, it gives you a new uh, special attack, basically, which is uh, situationally useful. Uh, the problem with it is that it costs you your shells, uh, which it, it, you, need, you need to spend shells in order to charge it up, which uh, makes it... You kind of want to use it sparingly, at least if you're being, like, really diligent about uh, collecting shells for those extra lives. But yeah, I'll just show it off now. Yeah, it basically turns your regular spin attack into a little buzzsaw for a short period of time. And the more shells you... And you, you do that by just hitting the... Uh... You know what? I should have saved that. This is actually that kind of a joke power-up. Uh, that Actually, this gun here can't actually even hurt enemies. You're just defenseless. Cool music, though. And yeah, we're going the right way, so I guess I might as well just continue onward. Or am I right about... yeah. Oh, I lost track of my directions. Or this is the third one, though, and we went left first, so we gotta go left this time. God, my aim is just sucking today. There we go. There we go. And again, again, collecting those fruits can actually be really tricky sometimes. Uh, just because of the fiddliness of the hitbox. Yeah, speaking of the fiddly hitbox, actually, I got... In retrospect, I got really lucky against that Womack Spider fight this time. Like, normally, like, it's... You get, like, kind of shotgun... Like, the, the bullets were all really clumped up, which can happen, but normally they're, like, uh, spread out a bunch, so you gotta, like, really, like, weave in between them 
and done through like these very very tight gaps and it's just a nightmare got very very lucky on that Womack spider fight this level on the other hand is actually going quite swimmingly should be finished this one in relatively short order although again this is kind of uh, even though it's not a terribly difficult level this is kind of one of those annoying ones that takes a really long time to traverse if you die it's like uh, you do save a bit of time like you don't like as you don't have to check each fork along the way you just have to uh, go down the ones that uh, send you forward through the level so it's like you say basically basically you save like half the time basically uh, going through this level after you've killed all the fleas which we have now which means yeah we're coming right up on the end here shittily enough though actually the end here if, if, if you're like struggling through the level and are low on health uh, the end here is actually most likely uh, the point where you're uh, gonna bite it unfortunately whoops Okay, yeah, this thing is annoying, so I actually do want to deal with this. I mean, I guess I could just skip past it. We're right near the shit end of the level. Oh, balls. Or you know what? I don't have any fists. I can't even proceed. I need to go back down and get a coat hanger. That's another annoying thing about this level. So, okay, we got a backtrack. Or was there not one here? I really should have saved that present. Yeah, there wasn't. I gotta go back to the left. Get myself a fist. Yeah, I should have... Or was it even? I don't even remember. If, well, shit. Yep, this is kind of a no, annoying level, to be honest. It's not a bad one. I, I, I kind of like the gimmick. Just sort of this repeated... I don't know. Honestly, it's probably one of the weaker levels in the game, to be honest. It's mediocre, I'd say. Not terribly challenging, though, compared to some of the... Ag Honestly, we, so we've got some aggravating levels coming up. Like I said, this is kind of the last big uh, ramp up in difficulty that uh, the previous level was before the end of the game. So uh, the next few levels are, like, probably the toughest ones in the entire game. I don't even know... Where do I need to go here? I'm actually lost. What the hell? Okay, it's got to be up one level then. That's right, we got the present off this one. And wait a second. Shouldn't there have been... Oh yeah, there it is. I missed it. Okay, so much for this LP going swimmingly. <laughs> and actually, this is kind of how you end up uh, wasting time. Like I mentioned how the, my playtime was like three hours on my test run. That was out of lots of, again, having to replay super long levels because I kept on dying on them. But uh, if you if you actually get through the game like s very smoothly and efficiently and don't die uh, too often, and basically just e play each level once and that that's it. Um, it's actually not quite that long. Like I probably wasted like a good hour on I think the last I think it was the second last level of acrylic it took me like seven tries to get through on my last practice run. Okay, good. There it is. Honestly, I, I don't even know what the point is of having the. Uh, the targets, some of the targets in this level be fists. Or I guess maybe, I guess it's introducing the concept for, oh my goodness, I think it's the next level. I think the next level is the nightmare that I was dreading this, or okay, it's not the nightmare, the flea pit is the nightmare that I'm dreading throughout the whole playthrough series, but uh, yeah, the, uh, the the next to last acrylic level, it's, it's actually a cool level. I actually really dig the concept of it. But, uh, it is a bitch and a half to play through. Okay, okay, this is some bullshit coming up right here, too. I've got to be careful. Okay, yeah, if you go on the left side, some logs will just drop straight on your head, and there's not really anything you can do about it. And it's bullshit, and I actually died to it. Uh, when, 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 uh, I think it was my first practice run that I actually made it this far in the game. And actually, yeah, I lost my last life to, uh... Just logs dropping on my head out of nowhere that I couldn't possibly react to in time. So yeah, that kind of bullshit still happens, unfortunately. Even at this point in the game. I said we were mostly done with it after Cotton and Legacy Island, but alas, still get it from time to time. Actually, it's going to happen again on the very last acrylic level, but thankfully it's uh, somewhat more predictable there. 
Okay, here we go. This is probably one of the hardest levels in the game coming up, if I remember correctly. Yep, Plocktastic. And that's the cue to gird your loins. Because here we go into Go Home Cavern. But that sounds about right. This level can fuck right off. <laughs> it's, act it's actually a neat level. I like the concept. So yeah, the cons. So we had the fist targets in the previous level. Now we've got the leg targets. What is the point of that? Well, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, the whole gimmick with this, or not the whole gimmick, but most of the gimmick of this level is that you have no legs for hat for the first half of it. Which means you've got to be really well acquainted with uh, bouncing around with Plock. Actually, your, your jump button actually doesn't do anything when you've got no legs. You can't jump at all. Basically, he hops around. And actually, I don't I don't want to deal with these guys when I've got no legs. We'll come back to that later once I've got my legs back. So yeah, if it, so yeah, based on that, you can maybe intuit that, yes, we will be doing a bit of backtracking, a fair bit of backtracking in this level. Uh, actually, bas basically, once we get our legs back, we'll be... Uh, going back through that whole uh, section of level that I just traversed there. I would love to get be able to buzz saw through this next section. Alas, this is really tricky right here because, yeah, gotta, gotta get very exact positioning to uh, cross these gaps. It's actually, they're, they're kind of basically on like the bare edge of possibility here. Uh, you gotta be like right on like the last jumpable point in order to cross these. And the, the problem is, just like that, yeah, if you miss it, you end up getting stuck under that little ledge there, and you end up taking multiple hits, and then you're just fucked. Okay, so we, have, we have actually cleared the toughest part of the level right there. Or maybe the second toughest. Eh, it's about on par with the other toughest part of the level, but uh, that would actually, that would be incredibly amazing if I actually beat this level on my first try, because I have literally never beat this level first try on any of my practice runs. This is just a nightmare. And again, so I, I like the concept actually, that little hoppity part, the, the last part is kind of bullshit. Some really precise jumps that take a lot of practice to master, like just the right position and the right timing that you've uh, got to hold the buttons on to make those jumps. But uh, yeah, other than that though, I really like the concept, just like bouncing through the level with no legs. It's just a, a, a really neat and kind of fun use of the kind of a basic gameplay mechanic that we haven't seen before. It's not really that often that you're deprived of your legs unless you're attacking faster than you need to. I mean, honestly, if you're just spamming the attack button all the time, then yeah, you'll end up bouncing a lot, but since the enemy's invincibility frames are so long, uh, you've re there's really, you might as well just pace your attacks, because mashing the button faster doesn't help you at all. But alas, we've got... <clears throat> so it's, it's kind of a neat level, but on the... Uh, the biggest, this is probably the biggest, uh, the biggest offender when it comes to that problem I mentioned earlier, where, uh, yeah, if you die in this level, you gotta do the whole thing from the start. No shortcuts, no way to speed things up, you just gotta do, gotta redo the entire level. I, f I forgot to get my fist back after I hit that last target to unleash the fleas, didn't I? Oh well, this is pretty scary right here. Also, yeah, health pickups, uh, kind of hard to come by. Uh, once you get into these last few stages of the game as well. As far as I know, there's maybe one health pickup coming later. Actually, you know what? I forgot. Yeah. yeah, this is... This can get really annoying. Damn it. Yeah, you gotta yeah deal with the guy shooting projectiles at you while also taking care of the other guy at the same time. This is probably not going to be a successful run. I don't know, unless that fruit comes faster than I thought, but I believe the fruit actually comes after the super difficult part of the level, so... We might be in for some bad times. And actually, that was super fortunate. I normally... the... yeah, the first half of the level went so, so well. It was incredible. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that well in future attempts. If I'm just... I would love if I'm just misremembering the level and I actually get a fruit, like, right now. Okay. Oop. Damn it. Oh. Okay. 
barely survived that. And I, so that's the second one of those we do. And there's one more after this, which is a goddamn nightmare because the cannon shoots out the enemies at like double the rate. So you basically got like tons of projectile spam to deal with on top of having to kill the freaking shield guy. So yeah, it's a huge pain in the ass. Not looking forward to that. I would love it if I could see a fruit before we get there, but I, if I, if I remember the level correctly, I don't think that's going to happen. Also, this flea might yet school me before I even get there. Yeah, I think this is it right here coming up. Oh, you know what? I could buzzsaw him. I never thought of that or be him. Yeah, let's be him. Shit. Fuck! Oh, I, I was stupid. I was done stupid there. If I'd have just ducked under him and actually tried... I didn't think... I don't know, for some reason I didn't think... I thought the bees would be smart. I thought they'd fly around his little shield there. Actually, you know what? I forgot, I forgot that they actually... Yeah, actually do that in the first part of the level too. So I guess that was technically the fourth... Fourth little section there where you gotta kill the gumdrops for the crystal. I'm sure those dudes have some kind of real name, but to me they're just gumdrops. Actually, I guess they look more like jelly beans, like elongated jelly beans, or what are those? Those jelly beans you can get at Easter that are like long and Easter colored. I don't even know if. Damn it! Yeah, every hit is significant on this level just because it's really helpful to be able to tank a little bit of damage on that last section there. That I've been complaining about. Ooh, that was close this whole time. Okay, yeah, this last jump is a doozy. Okay. Oh, wow, I actually made it that time. Incredible. I actually think I've got this first part of the level kind of mastered. It's kind of neat. I don't remember... I actually don't remember... Which is pathetic, because I played it just a couple days ago, but I don't remember if you actually skip this level um, on the Child's Play difficulty. I believe you don't, actually, which is... Uh... Or you know what? I need, to, I need to start collecting shells again, get my extra life back. So, that, yeah, that's, that's a fun thing we can do to pass the time, I guess. Pass the time? What? We're trying to make time. My goodness, I was... Yeah, we're actually going to end up going over time in this video at this rate. And yeah, th this is the way that my time goes up to like three hours. Because yeah, I remember it took me like six or seven try. Yeah, on my on my one completed run, that uh, the one CC run that I did on stream, it took me like literally like six or seven tries to get through this level. And I almost beat it every single time. It's like half of those deaths were on that last section, that last uh, jelly bean cannon there. So I gotta go through all of this many, many times. This is, a, this is kind of the point in the game where the game kind of stops being as fun as it was earlier. I mean, it's still neat. I still think it's a almost well-designed level, if not for that crucial flaw. Honestly, the whole level would be fixed if there, there were just a shortcut to let you skip the first half after you've cleared out all the fleas. Or they would have to add fleas to make sure that... Uh, to, in order to force you to go right to the end, but uh, still, just a little bit of tweaking, just to make, let you skip over the first half of the level. Uh, this would be a really, a really, a really solid one, I think. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have the. F <laughs> I'm paranoid about the fleas. I don't have to worry about fleas. Actually, another small problem that some of these levels have too is just the. Uh, same, actually, actually, the same problem that I noted in my uh, Crash Dummies playthrough, where a lot of the levels are kind of uh, multi-layered. Where it's like a, uh, y you know, where you, you're you on like an upper part of the level and then you miss a jump and then you're back down to the lower part. So you got to redo like half the level because you, mi you missed your jump. And that, that happens in a few of these levels in this game. Uh, thankfully, and this is can be one of those, thankfully... Uh, Platforming isn't really a huge thing in this game, actually. Most of the... Because you've got that really nice, easy-to-use floaty jump. Uh, jumps are not... Generally not that difficult to make in this game. Or, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try it this way. Yeah! That's the way to do it. I've just been playing stupid this whole time. Buzzsaw is the way to go. Yep, that was the last... That was it. That was the hardest part of the level that I just cleared right there. Second hardest, I'd say. Yeah, the jumps are indeed more difficult than that last cannon. More punishing, too, because, again, you can... Oh, shit! No, 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 no. 
Oh god, I thought I got them all. <laughs> I should have known better than to think that though, because there was still a flag there. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. And I believe, yeah, we're on to the last acrylic level after this. Man, the timing is just not working out in terms of like spacing out my videos. Um, oh well. Or actually, I guess we got oh, we got Rocky Fella after this too. You know what? It'll probably be it'll probably be 15 minutes by the time I clear the next two levels. So yeah, um, uh, that's gonna do it for this uh, video, I guess. Um, as ever, uh, thank you all for watching and enjoying Plock with me, and I will see you guys next time.